Hello, my tubies and my beloved, who I love, my Teletubbies. Um, as you know, I am doing a series on the most popular questions about narcissists. And the next question, which is series three, did the narcissist know that he or she was hurting you? Did they know? The more important question I think that we need to ask and we need to focus on is how could the narcissist not have known that he or she was hurting you? The next question we should be asking is, why didn't it matter to the narcissist that they were hurting us? Or how could they have hurt me the, in, in, the, in the fashion or in the way that they did? The reason we want to know the answer to these questions is because we know, we know that we could never have done the things that were done to us. When we know, I know I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. When I know that I'm hurting someone that I love and someone that I care about, I will take immediate action to try to stop doing it, especially if they communicate this to me. Now, there's times maybe when you're hurting someone, um, not deliberately, unknowingly, but when they bring this to your attention, normally, um, you love this person, you care about them, you will definitely take immediate action and um, make some adjustments or fix it, you know? Now, in all healthy relationship, relationships, sorry, 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 <laughs> my tongue, there comes a time when the honeymoon must evolve into something real. We all know what the honeymoon phase is. Everything is beautiful, we're in love, sex is going on like almost every day, every day or every other day, twice a day, whatever, we're in the honeymoon phase. But when you evolve into something that's real, that means that it's time for real communication, dealing with issues, concerns, and commitments. It means having the ability to work with the partner, to consider the needs of your partner, to let go of the need to be right all the time. Yeah, I, we don't need right to be right all the time. I'd rather have peace than be right all the time. You'd rather have uh, true communication. Uh, when you let this relationship evolve, that means you take accountability and responsibility. If you have a concern in your relationship, you should be able to take your concern to your partner and know that you're going to be heard. You should also be willing to listen. And I know that, you know, that's a skill because not too many people know how to just listen. You really need to listen to their concerns, to the concerns of your partner. Now, if you are in a narcissistic relationship, this is never, <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Don't shoot the messenger. This is never going to happen. So again, you need to ask, did the narcissist know that she or he was hurting me? Guess what? Yeah, they knew. They knew it. But they just didn't care. Why did they not care? They didn't care because the only care, they only care about, you know, acting in their own self-interest. They didn't care because it wasn't causing them any distress. They didn't care because it wasn't affecting them. They were reaping all the benefits, so why the hell should they care? The only type of person who doesn't care about hurting someone that they claim that they love is someone who cares only about their own self-interest and someone who only loves other people as long as they are providing for them and giving them something. That's called selfishness. That's uh, those type of people, which it, <laughs> come on now, it sums a narcissist up to the T. In other words, let's not even call them narcissists. I got a new name. They're called Dusty Nignog Monsters. How about that? Anyway, dolls, you can learn more about this from fairytaleshadow.com and narcissismfree.com. Sheila True Love, truly loving you always. You always have a choice. Please choose wisely. Until next time, we'll talk again. Bye for now.